One. Attackers incoming. Up. Stop the payload. The greatest enemy. Yeah. Lies but uh, thank you, Golam, for Fado Nation and Darth Ramar subscribed. Darth. <laughs> Got him. Fuck. I was actually really close to not getting that McCree. I mean, I shouldn't drop, period, right? There's no point. Repetition is the path to mastery. Death, 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 death. Is whimsical today. Wow! What? Okay, show me this charge. <laughs> it's just like a homing missile. Pain is an excellent teacher. But time for the walk of shame back. Good luck, teammates. Seagull, why is Zenyatta trying to be Reaper all the time? You're kind of right. He is, isn't he? I guess gotta drop an ult on the point because otherwise they're just gonna cap because it's literally 0.51 meters away right now. Oh my, if I had a headshot there and then kicked, he would have died. Fuck. I've got you in my sight. The cycle begins anew. This does Zen. But Savage is only $2 because the payload motion stays in motion. It does Savage. Thanks for $2 donation. Embrace tranquility. Uh, the Hatter's Riddle donated $20. No, 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 LOS that we're good. Oh boy. We all, we good? I think we're good. Fuck him up! He has no fear! He doesn't even care! But Hatter's Riddle donated $20 and keep getting distracted. He just won't stop pushing. He just doesn't care. He just doesn't care! Does he have ult? They just used their ult earlier, right? Oh boy. Let's go, Red Bot! Let's go! Oh no, we don't have a speed boost to catch up to him. They just slowly walk away. Awkward. Just you pushed them back, right? What, the, what we call those zoning ults? Oh! He's got one shot, piece. But anyway, let's read Hatter's Riddle from Donation Mile. He says, I too miss the days of less than 1k people in your stream. I hope getting this many viewers become reality to you now. You're still my favorite streamer. Keep it up. P.S. Still waiting for another Battle Mercy game. Oh my god. It's been so long since a Battle Mercy game, man. Thanks for joining our nation and thanks for all the support, Hatters. Really. Get your head down or lose it. Oh, peace, Milo. By the few situations where right click peeking might actually be effective. They're all right up top, right? I mean, it still doesn't really feel like that real to me, but. Oh my god, they just used every ult they could. We're gonna lose this game. What do they got? Let's see. 
So they just burn loose. They just burn most of their. See, this is where ult management and payload pushing, like the. He's in, he's in forward spawn. So basically, right, they burn all of their ults really early, right? So what happens is they then have to push the payload foil, and we get to push it a second time. And I just peeked. What we what they could have done was try and take the early part of it without using many ults, and then use all the ults at the end of the payload to try and secure it. I mean, they probably will win it right here because we're not really an organized team or anything. But what will happen a lot of the time is that when you get to the end of a checkpoint, like on any map, it doesn't really matter the map. You get to the end, right next to the end of a checkpoint, the defenders start having spawn advantage over your team, and you need ults in order to clean them out. Or just like massive DPS, one of the two. And so that's the worst situation where burning your ults too early and the checkpoints, like, I don't know how to describe it. Before you push the payload too far can be a bad thing sometimes. It just depends. And that's why snowballing is so important. Because if you snowball properly, then a lot of the time what ends up happening is... You can actually snowball through the first half of checkpoint, and now you have all your ults for the second half where you can break the defense and spawn advantage. I'm gonna keep it on Milo for now. We can break this shield. All we have to do is break the shield. If we break the shield, then our, our Ryan can ult. Like that. Exactly like that. Literally exactly like that. I could have tranced that. Should I have? I mean, we have, we have res, so no. I don't want to trance that. I want to save my transfer for the black hole that's coming. Seagull, what the fuck is snowballing? Uh, like, you get a bigger advantage by having an advantage. I just want to break that shield again. See what we got. See, the issue is... Do they have any ults that can actually one-shot us through trance? They're going to have Rhyne ult right now, I think. And so I need to make sure I can LOS the Rhyne ult and at the same time uh, get my trance off for the black hole. Seagull, what is advantage? Seagull, what is life? Seagull, what is book? Seagull, what is you? Forehead. That's all I got. Oh boy. I OS most of that. Is, it, is he still channeling that? Is he gonna break our shield with it? I hope not. Is this it? The black hole? There it is. Instant trance. Milo. We should be okay here. Didn't get the achievement though, because we had the shield up the entire time. This is what I was worried about right here. So now it's the post black hole fight, and basically they have ult, and I need to. They had Rhine ult to cover up the post fight, because we're all clump still coming out, right? And now the issue is, can our Mercy stay alive long enough to get a good res, which he just did, and that's why I put my Harmony Orb on him. If our Mercy went down right there, it would have been really bad. Anyway, still catching up to donations, man. Sorry for being so slow on them. Um, I don't know. I just, I just really enjoy playing Zion and focusing on the game. <laughs> I should, put I should probably put Harmony on him because he's about to take a billion damage because he's ulting in front of the whole team, but whatever, man. I still haven't gotten a good trance off, but they, they don't have Black Hole anymore, so I don't think I'm going to get like an insane trance again. So what is LOS? I'm not even trolling. Line of sight. You know, Zenyatta's bad aim, or DPS isn't bad against Reinhardt Shield. It's like, what, 120, I think? Per second, right? Wait, how many orbs per second does he shoot? Is it 3 per second or so? Maybe a little bit less than that? Maybe 2.5? Assuming it's 3 per second, 45 per orb. It's pretty good. 
That Ryan's gotta have his ult. He looked like he was thinking our or ours was about to break. Ryan bot's waiting for his shield to go. I'm gonna repeat. Seagull, what is Google? Yeah, man, let me just like alt tab real quick and Google it to remember a number off the top of my head. Renbot, I got you. Renbot, I got you. He's in deep. Okay, you don't expect that one. I don't know if he should have res me there. If they push right now, it could be bad. But we just gotta kill. Cause now we have no support ults, and now they're high nooning. Oh, he got saved by that bubble. I'm gonna shield Renbot here. Man, that's what I was worried about right here! Ugh. It wasn't- remember what I said earlier though, it wasn't pushed up all the way, so we might have a chance to get out there and stop it for another time. I might get off Zen right now and go something that helps stall though. Considering what they have in the go May. Just wanna stall. We just need to stall for teammates. We probably lost though, so we messed up support old timings there. Okay, we have Diva coming out. Diva can stall for like two seconds. More people coming out. He tried. I'm gonna come out as Reaper now. Or Genji, just go out Genji. Oh, he's so weak! Fuck, we, are we all dead? He's high nooning, he's high nooning. He's still high nooning. He, he, he involved it! He's dead. He's gotta be dead. I don't feel like losing, and I'll play Dirty Tracer to ensure my rank points don't go to waste, even though it's not ranked. I like that. Milo clutched that with the recall on the high noon though. Damn, he strafes the enemy Reinhardt ult, goes to the side and just sets up his own perfect ult. That was amazing. Alright, nice damage. Anyway, time to catch up on donations. It's a lot. Holy shit. Uh, SWAT domain five dollars. What are your thoughts on the career nerfs? Will we still be viable in competitive tournament play? What's the general feeling in the pro community? PS, you missed. No, I didn't. I answered that. I promise you. Although I was probably late on it.